I think from my screen you can already see where I'm going with this, but I was recently watching Max Yuryev's video on editing footage from Canon's new R5 camera. While I was watching it, I had this crazy thought. I had experimented with Panasonic's compressed S1H footage on my iPad Pro and LumaFusion, and I realized that while LumaFusion will give you an, a warning, letting you know that this footage is outside of the officially supported spec, that footage would play back just fine, I could grade it just fine, and so I thought, let's be a little crazy. I couldn't find the 4K 60p footage, but I did find several examples of the 4K 120p footage, which is, of course, slowed down to 30p in camera. So not the greatest test, but this is, again, a 10-bit 422HEVC uh, codec, which is not well supported by a lot of different graphics cards and software implementations. Uh, again, if you watch Max's video, his high-end PC laptop, his high-end Apple laptop, both sort of uh, stuttered, even playing back and editing this 120 slow down to 30p footage. So, downloaded it, loaded on the iPad Pro, lo and behold, plays back great. Now, I have no idea what kind of scaling LumaFusion is doing. Unfortunately, there's no real good way to, to get that information. But as you can see, I can play it back. I can scrub it around. It doesn't really slow down. Personally, I have two key takeaways from this. One, a 2018 or 2020 iPad Pro is probably a great companion device if you're shooting the Canon R5. Uh, in my experience, they will edit uh, raw photos up to 100 megapixels without breaking a sweat, so you'll be able to handle your 47-ish megapixels photos coming off the camera no problem. And it turns out if you're shooting the compressed video, it seems to be able to edit that just fine. Second big takeaway, and this is not related to the Canon camera, I am even more excited for the upcoming Apple Silicon Max. I mean, if their two-year-old silicon that was designed to fit in a five millimeter thick one pound tablet can do this with this insanely compressed footage in this really high-end codec. Just imagine what their current silicon on a brand new five nanometer process with a much higher thermal limit is going to be able to do.